Good morning, church. Let's talk about Judges chapter 4. In this chapter, we see the cycle of apostasy continue. In verse 1, the people of Israel again did what was evil in the sight of the Lord. They're oppressed by their neighbors, and God raises up a judge to, um, to save them, to give them, um, to call them back to faithfulness. And this time he uses a woman named Deborah. Deborah is sitting in the, in the valley. She's judging between people who have disputes. When up comes a, a man named Barak who leads the army, he says, um, the Lord is, is, uh, brought us to battle. And, and it's like he's coming to her and saying, hey, can you give us some extra instruction? Or is there any message from God that we should wait for? He's just kind of fiddling around. And Deborah just says, look, has not the Lord, the God of Israel, command you? Go. And and he just is like, okay, well, I guess we got to go. It's it's she needs He needs a kick in the pants, and Deborah provides it for him. And they go out, and they get to the battlefield, and they see how what kind of army the enemies brought with them down in verse 12. Um, when Sisera was told that Barak was coming, uh, he called out his chariots, 900 chariots of armor, all the men who were with him. Um, and Deborah again says, get up, up, this is the day the Lord has given Sisera into your hand. Does he not go out before you? So these mighty men of valor, these army guys, they're looking at the battlefield and they're afraid, they're intimidated, or they're confused, or they're waiting for something extra. Maybe there's some sort of uh, secret knowledge that Deborah's got, and we, if we could just you know, coax that knowledge out of her, we could find some magic way to take care of this problem instead of going. And she just says, go, stop piddling around, get out there, get to work. Does not God go before you? He's on your side. Um, they, they lack faith and she's calling them to account. Uh, and how great that, he, that she does because the, the enemy is quickly defeated and um, another gruesome murder of an enemy happens, uh, you know, with um, the king of Sisera you know, he's, he's got a, a peg driven into his skull by a woman. Very graphic, but it's God doing the work. He's delivering the enemy into the people of Israel's hands time after time. When they are faithful, he delivers them. And when they're not, then they fall into the hands of their enemies. It's a call to faithfulness time and again in the book of Judges. So today... Look for opportunities for faithfulness. Is God calling to you? Are you waiting for something extra? Are there special instructions that you hope you'll get? Some new level of knowledge? Just step out in faith. Quit waiting. Go where God leads.